Hello everyone, welcome back to Bold Vehicles. On this episode, we will be going over some luxury cars and show you which ones are the best. Make sure to stay till the end of this video to find out which car is at the top of this list. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. Luxury cars, a class comprised in significant proportion of large traditional limousine saloons with one or two oversized hatchbacks and demure SUVs included, are the cars in which high-end executives choose either to drive or be driven in. That means they need to offer outstanding comfort both in the front and back seats, a silky smooth ride, excellent drivability and refinement, ample performance, and they must also serve as better status symbols than most things on four wheels. High levels of in-car technology and infotainment are a must and connectivity systems that will allow such machines to be used as mobile offices are increasingly important. Luxury cars are not just defined by their cost and ride, extensive levels of technology and refinement, but the level of prestige they bring. But which ones have the most class to top our best 10 list? Number 1. Mercedes-Benz AMG 1 For the 50th anniversary of Mercedes-Benz's AMG division, the car brand created a one-of-a-kind luxury vehicle named the AMG 1. Its behind-the-driver engine puts out more than 1,000 horsepower from a 1.6-liter turbocharged V6 that's helped along by four electric motors, two for powering the front wheels, one that powers the rear wheels, and one that helps power the turbocharger. For a cool $2.5 million, the AMG1 is a supercar that can rev up to 11,000 RPM. Meant to have the heart of a Formula One race car, according to digital trends, it has tight driving quarters, a low and aerodynamic shape, a racing-style steering wheel, and multiple different driving and suspension modes. Number 2. Aston Martin Valkyrie According to Motor One, the Aston Martin Valkyrie has an estimated price tag beginning at $2.6 million. Resulting from a partnership between Aston Martin and the Red Bull Racing Formula One team, the futuristic Valkyrie is a new hybrid hypercar that can reach top speeds of more than 200 miles per hour. Aston Martin said it plans to build 150 of these models, with a limited model coming at a later date. The Valkyrie 6.5-liter V12 engine puts out 1,160 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. Number 3. Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio Custom made for only a handful of pre-existing customers, the spectacular Ferrari Pininfarina Sergio is worth around $3 million. True to Ferrari's supercar fashion, the Pininfarina houses a 562-horsepower, 4.5-liter V8 engine on an ultralight body. Designed for hugging curves, it has a low aerodynamic body and headrests built directly into the roll cage. The Pininfarina Sergio can reach 60 miles per hour in around 3 seconds. This invite-only supercar was designed to commemorate the 60-year worth of partnership between Ferrari and designer Pininfarina. Number 4. Lamborghini Veneno Jumping up in luxury price tags, the Lamborghini Veneno was named for the Italian word for poison. The undeniably cool supercar was created as a celebration of Lamborghini's 50th birthday and is worth an estimated $4.5 million. Incredibly fast, the Veneno can reach 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds with a 6.5-liter V12 engine that puts out 740 horsepower and 507 pound-feet of torque. The Veneno slightly resembles an alien spaceship with headlights that stretch over the hood, an incredibly low body, and the clean, harsh lines of a stealth fighter jet. Number 5. Bugatti La Vatour Noir Newly crowned the most expensive car in the world, the Bugatti La Vatour Noir is truly one of a kind. Bugatti only produced one of these models and it's rumored to have a price tag of around $19 million. French for the term the black car, La Vatour Noir has a C-line body side design, six tailpipes, and an 8-liter quad-turbo W16 engine. According to Road & Track, this luxurious hypercar can put out 1,479 horsepower and 1,180 pound-feet of torque. Arriving for Bugatti's 110th anniversary, the La Vatour Noir has a handcrafted carbon fiber body that's meant to only be seen when you want it to be. It has an extended front end, a seamless windshield, and smooth lines from front to end. Number 6. Mercedes-Benz S-Class When Mercedes-Benz sets out to make a new S-Class, the brief is to make the best car in the world. While it might not visually seduce like a Jaguar XJ, the big Merc offers an ownership experience that should be even more appealing. This car does what it's supposed to do superbly and is functionally exceptional. It was conceived as a long wheelbase saloon, giving it unprecedented torsional rigidity, and the ride is helped by standard air suspension with adaptive dampers. 
there's a choice of four petrol and two diesel engines with a nine-speed automatic box standard equipment. An advanced 48-volt hybrid electric powertrain technology used to boost both performance and efficiency in some derivatives, while the plug-in hybrid S560e will be the default choice in the range for anyone liable to pay benefit in kind tax. It attracts less than half as much BIK tax as any of the other derivatives. For those who don't care a bit about such things, there's always the 600 horsepower S63. The S-Class is engineered to operate quietly and comfortably at all times. On both town roads and motorways, it could hardly ride better, and it steers directly and precisely with luxury-appropriate isolation. The interior is spacious and supremely comfortable, not quite as well festooned with technology as some of its rivals, owing to the car's relative age, although the assortment does include a 12.3-inch infotainment screen and Mercedes's command online system as standard, and a suite of rear cabin infotainment equipment available as an option. On ride comfort alone, the S-Class even challenges the likes of the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Where the S-Class leads, the rest of the car-making world follows. Number 7. Range Rover The latest Range Rover, the fourth generation of the model, is as revolutionary as any in history, with an aluminum monocoque chassis and an unshamedly luxurious agenda. That it is a luxury car first and 4x4 second is not to run down its capability of off-road one jot, however. The spacious interior exudes quality and luxury. The seats are excellent, and the driving position is first-rate, making it easy to drive for a car of its size. The heavy body shell provides excellent isolation from rough surfaces, and while it doesn't offer the driving engagement of a Porsche Cayenne, it's easy to make enjoyable and brisk progress should the need arise. Land Rover's engine range still includes six- and eight-cylinder petrol and diesel options without a weak or under-endowed feeling option among them. The one fleet operators will be interested in, however, is the plug-in hybrid P400e, which qualifies for company car tax at just 18% BIK. The car is heavy, but its weight is a small price to pay for a car of its incredible breadth of ability. Few cars make you feel as special to ride in, none has better visibility or a more commanding or assured driving position, and very few put a better complexion on your day. Number 8. Audi e-tron Quattro we're now entering reasonably well-established times for the premium electric car. There have been fast ones, very fast ones, big ones, small ones, expensive ones, and cheap, and some that even attempt a bit of four-wheel drive versatility. Never has an electric car come along and done onboard luxury better than Audi's first stab at the zero emissions template, the e-tron Quattro. This car combines four-wheel drive and a commanding outright performance level with SUV-level space, convenience, and usability, and with Audi brand desirability. But what really makes it stand out is how superbly hushed, comfortable, and refined it is. When we road tested one, our decibel placed its cabin noise level closer at a 70 mile per hour cruise to that of a Rolls Royce Phantom than a Tesla Model X. Audi brand modern luxury comes with state of the art onboard technology too, of course, while the potential for a 150 kilowatt public rapid charging combined with an everyday range of between 200 and 250 miles on a charge also makes the e-tron a more usable electric car than some of its ILK. Right now, there is no more luxurious electric car in the world than this one. Number 9. BMW X7 don't think of it as an enlarged X5, says Munich, but rather a jacked-up 7 Series that's been readied for limited off-roading work. That description doesn't much account for the fact that the X7 is a 7-seat, 2-box passenger car with an extended roofline, of course, but it does tell you about the priorities that BMW's designers and engineers had when it came to refining and tuning the car. The car comes with a choice of two turbo diesel and two turbo petrol engines in the UK. The M50D version of the car offers fully 394 bhp and more than 500 pound-feet of torque, while the V8 M50i petrol winds the performance dial all the way up to 523 bhp. On the road, the X7 handles its size and bulk well, feeling surprisingly precise and athletic when cornering. Even the car's diesel engines are smooth and refined, developing enough torque to move the car along easily, while its ride is comfortable without running out of control. A slightly ordinary cabin, light on special material touches and differentiation from BMW's lesser SUVs, and that controversial front-end styling are the car's biggest disappointments. With that oversized grille, some would call the X7 ugly, but few would deny its competence or its completeness as a luxury car. Number 10. Lexus LS The LS has always been a niche choice in the UK, 
but its success elsewhere has guaranteed this latest version a seat at the top of the saloon table. The car's had a major styling overhaul, and the interior feels both modern and luxurious in a likably unconventional way. There are four trim levels, the top one coming with plenty of equipment and, spec depending, also a rare kind of material richness that few cars in the world can match. Dynamically, the LS is less convincing as a luxury item. The 3.5-liter hybrid V6 has to work hard to cope with the car's 2,420 kilogram weight, and while the car's handling is quite impressive, it's noisy, and slightly brusque run-flat shod ride is quite the opposite. Against the latest S-Class, 7 Series, and A8, the LS is an interesting alternative, but still not the most credible of rivals. Well, there you have it. Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Catch us in the next video.